basics are something startles or frightens us. It could be actually a movie. It could be a conversation that ends with an anger, angry friend or family member, or it could be a loss of work or, or uh, getting a diagnosis of a life threatening illness. Any of these things psychologically will cause a threat response and our amygdala responds with kind of a fight or flight or freeze. And those responses happen. But what you may or may not know, and this is in the literature, I did the research for my book, that chemical insults like mold, like um, environmental of uh, say formaldehyde in your environment, and depending on the person, you may be more or less sensitive, chemical insults can just the same trigger the amygdala and the fight or flight response. Even if you think I am fine, I am safe. There is no problem here. You're psychologically completely you know, grounded and you're in a great spot. You can smell a chemical trigger. And literally there's a direct link through the cribriform plate through the HPA axis that takes that chemical and triggers a fight or flight response. This to me is fascinating because for decades I have known that mold causes this really trauma response and every patient I've ever known, including myself, that's a whole nother story. But um, all that to say that I've seen this and I've seen we, we can take care of the mold related illness, get them out of the environment, start to heal and detox. But there is this trauma piece of mold that unless I help the patient deal with that, um, they will remain in this fight or flight cycle, even if they get an exposure and they know they're okay, they know they're safe. So when I kept seeing that, I was like, what is this deal? Because they can have all the therapy, all the somatic therapy, all the things in place to keep them safe and healthy and in a good psychological place. But still, when they smell toxic chemicals or smell mold, or they feel like they're in a moldy environment, their body will freeze or, or fight or do something in the trauma response. And then I started to understand, oh, we literally can have a trauma response to a chemical. And it's of course kind of makes sense because our body's just trying to protect us. But that was a big aha for me because think about nowadays, we are swimming in toxic soup. So you ask about the state of our nervous systems. We can do all the work, all the therapy, be so enlightened. And we still walk out in the world without the air filter and the exhaust comes by and the fumes come by and the mold comes by in the buildings. And we can have the same nervous system response just from the chemical exposure. And we're all getting it every day.